Dodgers win total under over 96 and a half. People who left pitchers, Tommy Canal, David Price, Cade Crimble, Trevor Bauer, Tyler Anderson, Andrew Heaney, and Chris Martin. Position players, Trey Turner, Justin Turner, Edwin Rios, Cody Bellinger, Kevin Pillar, and Joey Gallo. Trades, they traded for J.P. Verizon and Miguel Rojas. Signings and free agency, Noah Sinregard, J.D. Martinez, Shelby Miller, while re-signing Clayton Kershaw and Tony Gonsolin. No coaching changes since 2021 under the radar minor league signings bradley zinner adam Kolarik, and jason hayward c mac what grade are you giving our dodgers and why you know what i don't think it's a it's a total bomb i don't you know i just give it a c uh for them you know they I, i'm I, the sign not signing turner i thought was fine trey turner justin turner it was time i think as well his stick, he could go somewhere else, though, and probably hit 270. Uh, Cody Bellinger, I, I wish him luck. Hopefully he can turn something around and do it. Just Obviously, they signed Kirk. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> can't hit the heat anymore. But, I don't know, hopefully he has uh, some success with the Cubs. Yo, know, they got Heaney back. I didn't – what do you guys make of uh, – with not having them sign Anderson and letting him go? After they the let, career they year, they let Heaney and Anderson go. Heaney's now on the Rangers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah. Let him go. Really, bro. Anderson. But a lot of these, a lot of these starting pitchers come to LA and have career years. We fix people, bro. That's why I'm not too. I was bummed about Syndergaard, but I watched Syndergaard have have a better year than he did last year. I sure as fuck well bet him, but I mean, we turn people's careers around, bro. Pitching and hitting. Some look, look at Justin Turner. He was a bum when he showed up. Look at Max Muncie. He was a bum when he showed up. We made these guys, but yeah, I I think Cinder are they? I don't know if he's got a, enough left, but come to LA should help out. Uh, I like JD Martinez. I think the lineup's fine uh, at that price that they got him. Uh, you know the jacks aren't there, but if he could pop twenty, you guy can hit still at doubles. Obviously his feet are bad, uh, and the pitch I think will be fine. Uh, and they have the number one farm system in all of baseball. So I don't think we're crazy, and they're saving money in the end. And by the way, they're not going to win 100 and whatever it was, 11 games they won last year. Uh, I even see 95s. You mentioned there, it, depending on where you get it, it's minus 120. That goes over. Uh, like I said, they might not win 100 and whatever, but uh, they went over 95 and a half games this year. It's just uh, in the postseason. And a guy like Gonsolin probably has another decent year. Uh, but now it's all about the postseason, and this guy just doesn't have it yet there. Uh, so it's all talk with these Dodgers until go time. Uh, so regular season, you know, I take their over on that win total. Yes, sir. Uh, my guy Chris, same question. Yeah. Great for yeah, the Dodgers. Uh, win total over for sure. Uh, that's That was one of the first ones that I looked at. Uh, there's yeah. There's more than enough. There's just more than enough talent top to bottom on this roster uh, to win 96 plus games. That's even with, you know, I, 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 I see all a whole bunch of places that are saying like F, F minus D minus F yeah. the Dodgers. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, yeah. You know, I, I, I think that a lot of the national media just, just looks at what names came in and what names went out. And so they yeah. had a lot of names leave. And so inherently that makes it look bad. But when you look at, I mean, Connor, you said it all about all the guys that left. It's like, you know, how many of them do you realistically look at? And, and, and as Dodger fans are like, God damn it. I wish we still had that guy. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, probably not a ton. So um, I, I would probably go, it's hard for me to go higher than CC minus. And that's just because there really wasn't like, there really wasn't a lot that was, um, fixed or plugged or what have you, but that's because they don't have many holes to begin with. So exactly. uh, CC minus for, for me. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm just not that like, I'm not even a Dodger fan. I'm not even that upset about any of the guys that left. Cause I'm not even a Dodger fan. Oh yeah. Well, uh, CBS sports was harsh on my team. They gave us a freaking F I'm going to go. I, I can't go that harsh. I'm with, I'm with C back. I'm at a C minus. I could be harsh and give them a D but you can't go for it every year, guys. And that's what the Dodgers have done for the past 10 seasons. I expect us to make a giant push on Otani next season. And by doing that, we freed up a ton of cap space next season. So we still have a 
one of the deep, deepest starting rotations in all of baseball, a solid bullpen. To me, it's the position players. Our outfield is a bunch of no names. We're starting Trace Thompson out there. It's just like, ugh, there's some guys out there, but it's time for Turner to go. We've got a stud in Vargas, bro. This kid is going to rake. Um, it's about time we get a third baseman who can hit. So uh, bye-bye, Turner. Kick rocks. So uh, I give my team a C-, minus and that win total – I, I'm not going to bet it over, but there's no way in hell I'm betting this team's under when they win year in and year out. They, they just win. They know how to win, guys. And this is the year there's no pressure on the Dodgers. They did nothing. They're not the team to beat. This is a deadly, deadly team when they have no pressure on them, guys.